Well, there's a new game that's coming out in a couple months here that's being hailed the possible game of the year. Black Myth Wukong. It's a story about the Monkey King. This is something that's kind of been in the background. I've been keeping a couple eyes on it and it seems the developers have quite the story. Well, this is one of those games that's going to be coming out in a couple months. Like I said, August 19th, 2024. Price tag up there at $79.89, that's Canadian. Of course, it's a higher than normal game for us, but this is being hailed as the new Souls-like, the possible game of the year. Now, the Monkey King is a Chinese mythical uh, creature or mythical tale uh, legend that uh, loosely uh, was, was what Dragon Ball was based off of with Son Goku, uh, his character being loosely off of the Monkey King in this case. Wukong, uh, it, it brings the culture of the Chinese culture into a video game. And there's something more behind all of this, and it really does seem Sweet Baby Ink tried to rear its head. Black Myth, Wukong devs refuse to work with Sweet Baby Ink. That's a huge bullet they are now dodging. Sweet Baby Inc. has become a huge presence in the gaming industry. Their influence the development of many current games. However, Black Myth Wukong developers disagreed to work with the company. Why it matters? Game Science, the studio behind Black Myth Wukong, is being called out for lacking diversity in its title and not depicting political correctness, as it shouldn't. It has nothing to do with westernized culture. Westernized culture has been enveloped into political correctness. Uh, it literally watched the movie PCU. If you want to get a full understanding of the iterocracy that is out there in the world with p political correctness and why Sweet Baby Inc., them pushing so many things down in the video game world, why it is so stupid. This is a report due to the studio not consulting Sweet Baby Inc. during development. According to Chinese media press, Game Science refused to take the company's guidance as they demanded an unbelievably high $7 million. You'd wonder where this money for this company continues to come from. Remember, they went to your marketing team and threaten cancel culture if you didn't pay up and change your game to what they believe would be more politically correct. And, you know, censoring the game. You know, games being made in China are already being overly censored and oversought by the Chinese government. That is the much difference when you deal with the Chinese company. But you don't need Sweet Baby Inc. I wonder why Canadian-based Sweet Baby Inc. is working in tandem or trying to work in tandem with Chinese companies at this point. Couldn't be anything political, I guess. Maybe in Canadian, if you look a little bit more into that. Agreeing to the offer would have added forced inclusivity into the game and removed creative freedom from the developers. It's also interesting to note that Sweet Baby Inc. is more influential in the West. Games from Asian regions typically aren't influenced by them, though there are exceptions like Silent Hill 2 Remake with Hit Detection, another narrative design company that's going out there. Nonetheless, this won't impact Black Myth Wukong in any meaningful way. One might even expect the game better because of game science's refusal. Now, this isn't the first attempt at taking pock shots at this game company. It seems an, an older article here from IGN, written by Rebecca Valentine and Ki Hu Chan, really diving deep into trying to force more feminism into this game or women representation into this game as well they recently ended up on the kutaku de detected list so this is an interesting 
turn of events that really has gone down. And then in this article, they are talking about a video that's depicting some stuff here. And it looks like the IGN article is not really telling the actual story. To many who are familiar with Fang's mannerisms, these were just harmless quirks of a game developer who, as vulgar as he may seem, is steadfast about the vision for game making. Several friends have excused his behavior with them chalking this up to straight talking passion for game making there's no need to debate many literary giants use foul language let's just experience our and the work ourselves a single beauty can cover up the ugliness so let's wait for the results but i will support it because of their courage and that they were able to put so much culture and history into the game reads one response written in Chinese to a video discussing the controversy. While the controversy in particular, we're not a, I'm not able to actually show you the entire thing because it is in Chinese and I don't speak Chinese, but I have run it through a translator. So once again, we find ourselves at a crossroads where Western society and Western game journalists are trying to force more onto these video games. And this is what we completely talk about, why this is embedded in everything that is going on in video games, why it's bad for the entire gaming industry, and why it's ruining games, why we're not getting crazy titles out there anymore. How do girls view the rumor that Black Myth Wukong is suspected of discriminating against female players? This video, unfortunately, is in Chinese, so I do not understand it, but they do have a bit of a synopsis here. Uh, the cause of the incident that I posted two videos to attract attention the day before yesterday, and then I went on to organize the materials of Zing Ang World, uh, after a while, a little sister came to me and asked, Oh, he, what did you say about Black Myth Wukong? I saw someone online saying the game resists females players. As a girl, you are not afraid of what others will say about this game. Then I went to read all the processes and contents about Black Myth Wukong not needing female players. I thought about it, and in the middle of the night, I just felt that there might be some misunderstandings here. So I listed the first thing first and then slowly pondered them. After writing it, I showed it to the little sister today. After she read it and understood, I dubbed it in the episode. I can only say that some sisters are too sensitive about the whole thing. Isn't the game made for us? After it launched on market, can you, the producers, still make the decision? The producers' words were taken out of context on Weibo in 2013. Context, 2013. We're in 2024. The article from IGN was written in 2023 in November. Um, the fundamental meaning is that girls will not be used as tools to attract men. In essence, they should respect girls. I gotta say also the rabbit hole that seems to be discovered here on my end, IGN exposes its true nature a 10,000 word article criticizing Black Myth Wukong for discriminating against women and the rest is cut off. But if you go down into the comments, which uh, thanks to Google Translate, why is Lu Dan so angry? Because his suppression of First Domestic 3A, it's prejudice of Western political correctness. It's not just business war, although we Chinese players don't buy it, but it's urgent to establish the game industry's own standard and voice. That's right, these dog organizations are always looking for trouble. Chop them up. Wow. <laughs> that, it's not about IGN. It's planned by woman in China. No. Um, and in a reply here, they're all the same kind of stuff. Didn't you see the article was posted by IGN? And down here at the bottom, you, you got to sign in to properly see these things. Western media don't care about China or women, but they care about Chinese women. Just like they don't care about China or Muslims, but they care about Chinese Muslims. So it seems that Chinese media that's similar to YouTube 
is also calling out the BS that is going on with the Western development world of Sweet Baby Inc., IGN, and everything else out there. I wonder what would happen if I looked up Kotaku. When it comes to diversity and the inclusiveness of games, of mediums, Normally, when it gets naturally filtered in, then no one sees it, no one cares. But it's the forced version of it that Sweet Baby Inc. is trying to force everyone's hand, trying to extort people. $7 million is what they tried to take out of this company just to put a narrative design in there. I think they're going to be able to tell their own stories and tell them without the political correctness that we see in Western activists and media right now in the world it's absolutely horrific and it is ruining games it really is ruining games we've seen so many layoffs we've seen so many so many game companies shutter because of this stuff and it needs to stop you, you need to make your own games based on your own stuff the monkey king game i i think is going to do quite well it looks fantastic from what i'm seeing but we'll have to wait to see it's one that's like i said it's been sitting in the background i've just been kind of keeping an eye on it and now we're seeing a little bit more come out on it so hopefully i can cover more topics on this one very soon especially if you like and subscribe today uh help me reach that goal of 3000 hopefully sooner than later until next time i've been your proud canadian phoenix Cinder shadow i'm signing off here once again don't forget to like and subscribe <music>